Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. With Anime Studio, you can import Photoshop files into your documents. And this can be great if you plan a lot of artwork in Photoshop and you want to incorporate it then into your animations. So just as a quick overview here, let me pop over to Photoshop. You can see I have a image here of a character. I actually got this from Pond5.com. They have a lot of stock footage there. And basically, I split it up. So you can see we have the head here and we have the arms separated and so forth. You can see the head comes off like that along with the leg and so forth. And I could probably spend more time preparing this if I wanted to. And if, of course, you are drawing in Photoshop or if you have photos in Photoshop you're altering, you will come up with a workflow that makes sense and then you'll be able then to proceed with that. So that's what we have here and I saved this then in Photoshop as a PSD file or a Photoshop document. Now, popping back over here to Anime Studio, if we go to File, Import, and then Image, you can locate that Photoshop document. We have it right here, and we can click Open. Now it's going to ask you, do you want to bring this in as a composite or individually? Now if you bring the layers in individually, they're going to come in just how you have them in Photoshop. And this might be more useful, especially if you plan to rig the character or something like that. So we'll just click individually. And you can see now in the layers panel, we have a bone layer automatically made for us. And the layers then split up. You can see as I click on these layers, different portions of the body are being selected. And that's, again, how I separated it in Photoshop. So from here if you wanted to, I mean there's many things you could do in terms of how you want this character to operate, but we could click on that bone layer and then we could create a quick anchor bone like that and then just kinda come up here and again I didn't do the best job of separating him out, but I'll just create some quick bones just like this come down like this, and then like that. Oops, and make sure that this one's linked there, and that one is linked there. I accidentally selected the wrong bone when I was doing that. So now, you know, if you take your Manipulate Bones tool, you can move around. Of course, this might not work exactly how you want it, so then you could do some things like you could bind the head to the bone and move around like that. And I mean, that's all up to you then. You could then figure out how exactly you want to animate the character out. The point is, you can easily import different layers from Photoshop documents into Anime Studio and then animate them out. The rest is up to you. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, you can check out the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.